Hello, my name is Mike, M0MSN, and those lovely people at Retivis have sent me a, a new little handheld. Uh, now, this is the, the H1, uh, which is a, a DMR 70 centimeter, two meter uh, analog, as well as digital radio. Um, it supports up to half a million, that's 500,000 DMR contacts. Um, You've got all the NOAA channels if you're in America. So that's an, the uh, weather alarm in America. Um, USB uh, Type-C charging. Uh, it also has a, a desktop charger, uh, which is a cradle that you can put the radio in. Um, it has a, a, I'll read this bit, a eye-catching alarm button on the top of the radio. That's jolly good. Um, Right, what else have we got? We've got um, it supports uh, side button second PTT, so you can program either the top or bottom button to be uh, a secondary PTT for the uh, for the dual band for B band, I presume. Um, analog APRS and digital APRS functionality. It's got GPS, it's VHF and UHF. That's uh, one forty four to one four six or one four eight in America. Uh, and 400 to 520 megahertz. Uh, it also has an FM radio on it, so you can, that's commercial radio, so you have from 76 megahertz through to 108 as FM commercial, capable of storing 4,000 channels, um, which is cool. Uh, four, uh, 7.4 volt uh, ion lithium battery, uh, 2,900 milliamp capacity. So it's all good. All good. What's the output? Output is 5 watts high, 3 watts medium, and half a watt on low power. Okay, so let's do a, a quick unboxing, followed by a couple of tests to see uh, if it's clean and also the sensitivity of the radio. And then if you're interested, carry on watching uh, as I'll do a uh, quick overview of DMR and how to program it and what it uh, looks like, if I can, uh, and a quick contact on the radio to see uh, what the audio is like. Battery in and on. PTT. One, two, oh, I like the buttons, that's quite nice. Volume, booting. DMR, oh, brilliant, okay. Let's first and foremost take it into VFO mode. Uh, 145, let's change that to 144. If I can find the 44, um, for 600. Okay, that will do. Measure, harmonic. Center frequency one four four. Crikey, one four four megahertz. Full spectrum. And we need to go back into here and do level external gain minus forty dB, which is what this little attenuator is here and let's just key up and see what we get <coughs> excuse me let this uh, just uh, synchronize oh I think that's uh, I think that's a, a brilliant result 
Absolutely spot on. Well done, Retivis. Receive sensitivity test. Bear with me. So, signal generator. We need to turn and come back out a bit. We need to turn the uh, out, low output, I don't know how to get it. Frequency needs to be 144. Point six hundred megahertz. Um, level is low at the moment, and basically we need to just to turn it on. Yep, that's broken squelch. Let me just show you. And now what we need to do is reduce it by ten. So that's now minus twenty eight. Minus 38. And what we're hoping for is about minus uh, 112, something like that. Still broken squelch. Yep, I go with that. So you've got 1 dB. It's 2 we go back. Maybe you can see that or not. Minus 115 at the moment. Just keep going up. 112, we want for it to break. That's really good. Yep. That's very sensitive. Good on it. For 10 minutes before 10 o'clock at night, Sunday night, and uh, today was a bit warm outside, about 26 degrees Celsius, a fine day, and uh, we expect it warmer tomorrow, summertime is coming, and uh, um, according to your course line, you must be calling from UK, uh, back to you, sir, Mike Zero, Mike Zero November, DS1LQN, from South Korea, over. Yes, thank you, Boo. You're, uh, you're like I said, you're a lovely signal. Um, the time here is uh, um, fourteen fifty. Actually, correction, it's thirteen fifty, um, with a temperature of around um, eighteen, nineteen degrees Celsius. And you, like I said before, you're a lovely signal. Thank you very, very much for the flowers on the audio signal. Um, very pleased. Uh, this is the new Retivus H1, which I'm testing. Uh, and we'll soon be putting a YouTube video out for it. So uh, thank you very much for coming back to my uh, to my call over. November, uh, Delta Sierra One, Lima, Quebec. November returning. Okay, fine. Business there. Have a wonderful day, and uh, see you again in the future. And then I'm listed on QRZ.com. I will put um, on my log your call sign, and. Uh, if you can look up the uh, QRZ at you can see my whole name and my location there. I'm located in 58 years in Central Seoul, South Korea, capital city. Thank you, sir. All the best. Here's every treat from South Korea, and uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November, Delta Sierra One, Lima, Kevin November, every trees. Yeah, thank you, Boo. Seven freeze to you too, Mike Zero. Mike Zero November clear. So it works very well. Twenty six degrees Celsius. Maybe Fahrenheit is maybe uh, it something eighty nine or something like that Fahrenheit. And uh, beautiful day today. Uh, back to you, Whiskey One November India John. DS1LQN from South Korea. Over. The DS1LQN from Whiskey One November India. If you uh, if you uh, correctly have my name John, uh, I guess it's John on that end. Um, very nice to meet you. 
Um, I uh, really like the country of uh, South Korea. I've been there many times for work. I'll actually be there later this summer. Um, well, it's been a few days and I've had the uh, the radio in constant use and I'm actually beginning to enjoy using this little DMR radio uh, quite a lot. Um, what can I say? Uh, is it worth the money? Yes, it is. Uh, does DMR work well uh, once you sort out the programming? Yes, it does. Does it work well on standard um, analog? Uh, yeah, it works really well through my local repeater and looks uh, and sounds really nice as well. Uh, works great uh, on simplex. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I think it's a great little DMR radio um, for anyone who wants to uh, start off on DMR. Is it the best DMR radio I've ever used? Um, close, really close. Go for it. It's a good radio. That's Ray Delta Bravo. Pleased to meet you, Doug. Name here is Bob, guest operator at the station. And uh, my uh, son-in-law owns the gear, which I just gave to him. And I'm waiting at... Actually, my new uh, handheld is at the office, post office. 